Hello, good morning. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can take attendance of everyone joining your Google Meet and get some information when they've joined when when they've joined that meeting. Once again, my name is Beverly Suarez and you can find me in YouTube. Just type my name, Beverly Suarez. Sikat po ako doon. Okay, so let's get started. This is another extension. Uh, wait, transfer titles is on screen. Okay. This is another extension that is going to add functionality to Google Meet. Google Meet is an incredible platform that many of us are using it for an online meeting or online teaching. This extension that I will show you will add the functionality of taking attendance. Let's start by installing this extension. You can find the link in the description below. I will just open a new tab and copy that link. Of course, sa akin, lagi translate <laughs> Once you're in the Chrome web store, we're going to click on Add to Chrome. And we're going to add this extension. And as soon as the extension is added, there will be a little icon over here at the top. It is not colored at the moment because it is not reading the information on this page. However, if we start using it in Google Meet, then it will start running. So let's close this one and let's go ahead and access google meet from the start okay sige from the start tap na natin go ay ads ay magkano na kaya kita ako sa sige wag na muna <laughs> nakita ako kasi yung adsense eh okay change na ako ng account into my own deped email account and go to google meet and just as a demo, I'm going to invite a couple of my own accounts. We're going to set up this meeting with a very basic name. We're going to give it a nickname here and we're going to name it Test Attendance or ayan, iklaan na lang natin, Test Attend. I can remember that name. Okay, then click on continue oh by the way may i just tell you something whenever you are creating your own meeting in this way you rem you must remember to at least copy the nickname of your meeting in let's say a notepad so that whenever you will be announcing the nickname of the meeting you will just need to post it in your google classroom on the stream part sa announcements or kung mayroon kayo magkakaroon kayo ng GC group chat ng inyong students ipipaste niyo po yan so it's a good practice na ibigay niyo na sa kanila ahead of time ang meeting name okay eh para hindi po sila makaka-enter doon hangga hindi po kayo nag-enter okay so di ba uh, so yan just be noted na once you click on continue you are going to enter the meeting room. Okay, so ayan, naklik na po natin ang continue and I am going to join without a microphone. Siyempre, ang screen ko ay ganyan pa rin dahil nagre-record po ako. Wala mo ng microphone to. This is to prevent some feedback as I'm going to be joining with multiple accounts. Let's go ahead and join. Okay. Sa mga hindi nakakaalam, yan po ang meeting code na kinreate nyo kung kayo ay host. Now, the problem is, what if ang inyong ka-department ay nakalimot ng kanilang deped email at hindi pa po nagpapareset sa akin, okay? So, marahil ang gagamitin nila doon ay personal Gmail. You'll need to copy the link and send it to them. Like, what will I be sending? I'll be sending it to myself as well as sa aking dummy personal account. Uy! Ano pagkain na ma'am? Ah, nagugutom na ako. Okay. And then, kung ikaw naman ay may deped email, 
you can just, yes, you can access it by clicking those links. Clickable naman yan as long as naka-install sa inyo ang Google Meet pag, pag cellphone ang gamit nyo at naka-open na ang inyong G Drive kapag naman computer ang gamit nyo. And also, take note of this. Itong nickname ay ma-access mo lang kung ikaw ay nakaka-access ng iyong DepEd email. Paglabas po ng DepEd email, hindi niya mahanap itong nickname na yan. I think siguro naman yung ibibigay na DepEd email na depedmarkina.ph sa mga estudyante ay under DepEd pa rin naman. Sila kasi nag-create nun eh. So, kahit sabihin na sa kanila na, Uy, sis, bro, ito yun, no? Test, attend. Ito, type mo lang to. Makakaka-join ka na. Okay? Yun. Okay. Ngayon, asa na ba tayo? Wow. <laughs> Mag-grid naman tayo, mag-grid. Ay, naka-grid na ba? Ah, hindi pa, ako, hindi pa pala ako nag-join. Ang galing. Okay. So, ayan, naka-join na ako. Mukha lang mirror to. <laughs> okay, we are now in our meeting. As, and as you can see, at the top, we have that icon in color. Apple po siya. Okay, mansanas na may check. That means the extension is now working on this page. And it's going to take attendance of everyone that joins this meeting. When you click on the icon of the extension, of ko nga muna yung camera, ako nakaka, nakakaduling eh. Okay. So, ayan. You'll get all the information about what the different icons do. Like, ang itsura niyan ay right-click. Okay. We have adding a new sheet, creating a new sheet, etc. Now, all these things will be visible in your People's tab. And then you will see that... Let me hover on that. Oh, magjo-join. Reka, magjo-join pa pala muna ako. Kasi ako pa lang ang ano dyan. Try, mag-join muna tayo. Ako pa lang pala mag-isa. Anong ano to? Test attend. Okay, joining. Ay, mali pa spelling. Test attend. Okay, mag-join na ang isang may DepEd email. Ito, si shs.marikina. Gagamitin ko lang po to for demonstration purposes. At titingnan natin ko anong itsura kapag wala siyang DepEd email. Nakalimutan niya ang DepEd email niya. Hindi pa siya nagpapa reset Anong itsura niyan? Ganyan. May mag appear po sa inyo bilang host na nagpapa-join siya. Outside of DepEd Education kasi personal Gmail ang meron siya. Okay, so please do not forget your passwords ng inyong DepEd email. Napaka-importante niya. Okay, so ayan. We now have three participants for this demo. And on the People's tab... Okay, dapat kasi may lalabas dito na icon. Let me refresh. Naka-open na siguro agad ako kanina. Let me re... Wow. Feedback. Okay, ayan. Para walang feedback. Okay, ayun. Yun po yung icon na hinahanap ko. Pag wala po yan, refresh nyo lang and then rejoin. Okay, so... Ito na yung icon na sinasabi ko. We have an extra icon here. And this is the attendance. Now, when I click on that, I get straight to that spreadsheet where it gives me an overview of who's been into my meeting. Antagal niya. Okay. okay, wait. Alam ko na. May kailangan ano dito eh. Pag hinover niyo po dyan, you need to toggle this one. This is for the refresh I don't know, bakit may vertical? No? Pero sige, itagal nyo po. And then, saka nyo po i-click yung may check na attendance para mag-generate na siya. Okay, so ito. Ito na po yung mga timestamps natin. Okay, lahat ng participants na nakijoin sa meeting nyo. Okay, medyo i-adjust po na, muna natin to dahil masyado silang magkakadikit. Okay, so ayan. Okay, we ha we can see three columns na nandiyan. And 
Teka, ano pa bang mga accounts na nandito? Ito, ito the same codes ng meeting codes. Ito yung timestamps na tinatawag. And nandito yung mga persons. There, persons. Like, oy, two seconds difference. And then another five seconds difference. Nandiyan pa rin sila. Kada tagal mo kasi nito eh. Kada tagal-tagal mo dyan. Nagta-timestamp siya. Okay, so ayan na yung attendance information na makikita mo na nag-generate na siya automatically, kinakapture niya all people in my meeting and I can see and I can have an overview of those people in my meeting. Now, let's say that you have a very long, a very, very long meeting, like three hours, mga ganyan. You can also toggle this one. Let's say what, for the first hour, sila-sila yan. And then, mag-leave tayo ng isa. Sino ba pwede i-leave dito? Si Shirley Fortuna. Okay. So, kadalasan sa mga ganito pagkakataon, may nadi-disconnect. So, ayan. Nag-leave. Naging two participants ka na lang. And let's say, one hour yung class mo. Sig oh, sige, sabihin natin. For example lang, ah, one hour yung class mo. Sa unang... 15 minutes. So, unang 10 minutes, nag-take ka na ng attendance and then mga 15 minutes before your class ends, itagal mo po ulit ito. Ito lang actually ginagalaw ko dyan eh. Ito, ewan ko ba't may pababa to, Okay? And then, i-click mo ulit siya para... Eh? So, dalawa na yan. Diba? Alisin natin yan. Ito nang bago eh. Ito. Para makita mo na kung ano na yung update sa next part ng iyong meeting sa mga susunod na oras. So, ito, after 3 minutes, after 1 second, sila na lang ang natira. And then, try natin na mag-rejoin. Ipa-rejoin ko lang to. Sino ba nawala? Ah, si Shirley. Okay. Rejoin. Okay, tatlo na siya. Pag may nag-rejoin, ito na, halimbawa... Last 10 minutes of your class, itagal mo ulit to para mag-refresh and then click the attendance. Okay, alisin na natin yung nauna. So, ayan, makikita mo na bumalik na ulit siya. Okay, so, siguro, dahil ang daming timestamps, no? ang daming nating times na nagtagal kasi dito eh. Gawin nyo siya na itagal nyo siya at first, 10 minutes of your class and then the last 10 minutes, itagal mo ulit siya para makapag-generate siya ng panibagong attendance. Okay, so kukuna mo lang dito ay yung una at yung huli. Okay, so of course, magbavary ang pangalan yan. So, dapat ang pangalan ng kanilang <laughs> accounts ay <coughs> nasa pangalan talaga nila. Anyway, sa pag-generate naman ng dependmarikina.ph na deped emails ng mga studyante, pangalan talaga nila ang ya, ano ilalagay doon sa pag-enter. Okay, so ayan. Diyan nyo na po makikita kung sino-sino ang umaten sa inyong meetings. Okay, now, this gives us a nice overview and a very neat overview of who's joined and when they are active in that meeting. Kasi mga, may mga time stamps. Okay, so ayun po. I hope you found this helpful. If you are trying to do this, like, to implement this, let me know in the comment section. If you are already doing this, let me know again. And let me know other stuff that you want me to give a demo tutorial. Like kung ano pa po ang mga gusto nyong extensions na gusto nating ma-try dito sa Google Meet. Okay, so that's all. Thank you very much. And I hope, I hope, I hope you will use this kind of extension that okay siya, no? Instant generation na po siya. Okay, thank you very much po and bye!